In Chapter 5, we will provide an overview of the features and functions of Android TV and the home screen. Navigating Navigating around the Android home screen is intuitive and simple. The home screen is split into four sections or rows. The top row of tiles is called the Recommendation Row. The next one, the Channel Master Row, followed by the Apps Row, and then the Settings Row. If games were installed, there will be a fifth row titled Games. To navigate up and down and from left to right, simply use what we call the D-pad on the remote control, which is the set of left, right, up, down, and OK buttons on the remote control. Use the arrow buttons to navigate and the OK button to select. At any time, if you are in an app or get lost in your navigation, you can always hit the Home button on your remote to return to the Android TV home screen. Recommendation Row The Recommendation Row will display fresh content from the installed apps that you use most, allowing the user to select the tile for direct access. Simply use the left and right navigation buttons on the remote to browse the recommendations. If you find a recommendation that you would like to watch, select it by pressing OK. The Channel Master Row the Channel Master Row consists of apps recommended by Channel Master, including the Google Live Channels app, which utilizes Stream Plus internal tuners, allowing you to watch live TV received by a standard over-the-air TV antenna. Other apps recommended by Channel Master can be populated in this row in the future. Apps Row The Apps Row includes the Google suite of apps, including the Google Play Store, the Google Play Store offers thousands of apps and games that can be downloaded and installed directly on the Stream Plus. Installing apps is easy. Simply go to the Google Play Store, then browse the available apps by using the navigation keypad on your remote control. Once you have found an app that you wish to install, select it by pressing OK. Once selected, more information about the app will be displayed as well as an option to install Highlight and press OK on the Install Download to install the app. If you install an app inadvertently or would simply like to remove it, see instructions in the Settings row under Apps. Settings row. The Settings row consists of two icons, a Settings icon and a Wi-Fi status icon. Selecting the Settings icon will take you to a complete list of Stream Plus and Android TV settings. Please note that the settings for individual apps should be accessed from within the app itself. This includes the Google Live Channels app for settings like channel scanning, hiding unwanted channels, closed captions, and alternative audio settings for live TV. Selecting the Wi-Fi status icon will take you directly to your network and Wi-Fi settings. Network. The network setting allows you to set up your network and internet connection. Bluetooth allows you to turn Bluetooth on and off. HDMI HDMI allows you to turn on and off the HDMI CEC settings. HDMI CEC will allow the Stream Plus to control other compatible devices connected with an HDMI cable. Google Cast allows you to turn on and off casting usage data with Google. Sound allows you to turn on and off the system sounds that you hear when navigating the remote and allows you to set your own surround sound settings. Apps. App settings are broken up into two categories, downloaded apps and system apps. Under downloaded apps, you can select and manage apps. Typically, the only time you would use this setting is if you downloaded and installed an app that you wish to uninstall. Simply click Uninstall. System apps are core apps that run in the background that keep Android TV running. We strongly discourage any alterations, uninstalling, or clearing of cache of system apps as this could result in performance issues on your Stream Plus, Android TV, and apps. This setting is for advanced users and Channel Master does not provide support on the Stream Plus devices that have had changes made to the system settings. Screensaver Allows you to turn on and off the screensaver, set the amount of time before it starts, and set an amount of time to completely put the Stream Plus to sleep. 
Display allows you to set a desired output resolution to your TV and an overscan adjustment to ensure the display frame matches your screen size. Storage and Reset allows you to manage internal and external storage. About displays key information about your Stream Plus. Also, this is where you will check for, download, and install software updates. Time and Date allows you to adjust the time settings. We recommend using the Stream Plus with the automatic time setting for an ideal live channels experience. Language allows you to set the menu language displayed on the screen. Keyboard allows you to select a keyboard style. Home screen allows you to adjust the apps that are displayed in the recommendation row and how apps are displayed in the apps and games rows. Search allows you to modify which apps can be searched using the universal Android voice search. Speech allows you to adjust the speech settings. Accessibility allows you to adjust text sizes, captions, and other accessibility features. Add accessory allows you to add a Bluetooth accessory. To set up a new Bluetooth accessory, you'll need to ensure that your device is in pairing mode, as per instructed in your device's user manual. Once your device is in pairing mode, select Add Accessory, and the Stream Plus will search for your device for pairing. Channel Master Remote shows the battery life of your remote control and provides access to the programming settings that allow you to use your remote control to control the volume on other devices such as your TV or audio receiver. Also, this is where you can manage the pairing and unpairing of your remote control. Location allows you to turn on and off Google location services. Security and restrictions allows you to set up security parameters for downloading apps to help prevent installation of harmful apps. Usage and diagnostics allows you to turn on and off diagnostics and usage data to Google. Add account allows you to manage the Google account associated with the device. Change your account or add a new account. Now back to the home screen. Let's go over the voice search feature. Simply press the microphone button on the lower right hand corner of the remote control and speak into the top of the remote. Android TV will search all compatible apps for matches and allow you to launch the app and directly tune to the desired program. This feature will also search up to 14 days of program guide information within the Live Channels app. This will allow you to schedule recordings up to 14 days in advance. Google Casting feature. Simply connect your mobile device to the same home network that is connected to the Stream Plus and look for the casting icon in the app of your mobile device. Press cast and follow the instructions on the screen to push the video content to your television. It's important to note that not all apps are compatible.